They found a kilo of the deadly drug stored on top of play mats at the daycare. Three other children were exposed but are now recovering. The case comes as the DEA calls fentanyl the most urgent threat in our nation. Senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky is in the Bronx with the latest. The owner of Davino Nino Daycare is locked up on federal drug charges, accusing her of storing fentanyl on play mats children use to take naps. One of the most reckless things that a human can do to endanger the life of a child like that. Inside the daycare, investigators say they found large quantities of fentanyl along with machines and supplies to package it for sale. Was this daycare meant to hide a drug operation? So, Aaron, these, these drug traffickers, they don't care. They could care less about. So let me uh, start here. Let me tell you something. Um, <clears throat> I've heard of people, especially in Philadelphia, who use daycares to launder, um, especially in low-income neighborhoods, uh, drug money. It's, it's very well known, and I'm not surprised that it's been happening in New York. So let me tell you the story. Around 2.40 p.m. on September the 15th, it's the 20th right now, a Gray Mendez, the owner of a daycare Divino Nino in the Bronx, here, I think I have it pulled up here on the map for you if you want to see where it's located. I'm not from um, New York, so uh, you can... If you're from New York, you'll be able to make it out for yourself. But here is the uh, daycare uh, right here. Um, it is said that the 36-year-old Mendez noticed that four children were sick. <clears throat> Instead of calling the police first, she called her husband. Her husband allegedly showed up before the police and before the authorities did, left with two shopping bags and other equipment, but a kilo, which weighs about 2.2 pounds, of fentanyl was left behind along with equipment to press this fentanyl into uh, kilos. I don't know exactly how much, but this is worth a lot of money. I wouldn't be surprised if this 100,000, give or take, so on the outside looking in, it looks like a drug money laundering operation. Um, three kids ended up over one child, unfortunately, ended up dying. A Nicholas uh, Domin Dominici. Uh, we're going to hear something from his uh, heartbroken father a little bit later on in the video. Three other kids were taken to the emergency room. One of those kids was was in critical condition from but from my understanding, he's doing better now. The child who lost their life was one years old. And she called her husband twice. This woman right here, she called her husband twice before calling the authorities. Wild. She's now um, been denied bail. And the it's just so many questions for one when it comes to the inspection that took place, which was a a a, a, a damn it, which was a surprise uh, inspection the week before they passed, but they're not trained to go look for hey, you guys got any drugs up in here, any fentanyl we should know about, so I'm guessing they're looking for food. Uh, you know, making sure there's no like food left out, nothing rotting, um, things are sterilized, uh, uh, up to code, making sure kids can't get to electrical sockets, things like that. So here, and it's just so much, so many things on this. Uh, so here is allegedly some pictures of this um, daycare. And I'm guessing this is after the searches. It's just a home. And by the way, the other person that was arrested with Mrs. Uh, Gray Mendez was her husband's cousin who rented a room in the daycare. Let's go play this clip. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take your time out. Like the video. We allege that the defendants poisoned four babies and killed one of them because they were running a drug operation from a daycare center. A daycare center. A place where children should be kept safe.
not surrounded by a drug that could kill them in an instant. Here are some of the facts that we allege in our federal complaint. We allege that two defendants, Defendant Mendez and Defendant Acevedo Brito, along with their co-conspirators, ran a fentanyl distribution business out of a daycare center in the Bronx. At approximately 2.40 p.m. on Friday, September 15th, Mendez, who operated the daycare, called 911 to report that three children in her care required medical attention. And a fourth child, who was picked up by parents earlier in the day, was also taken to the hospital. Three children were given Narcan to counter the effects of the opioid poisoning. And one child, a one-year-old baby boy, was pronounced dead. When law enforcement officers searched the daycare, they found a large quantity of fentanyl and machinery used to press and package narcotics for distribution. And in particular, they found a brick of fentanyl, about one kilogram in weight, right on top of children's play mats in the daycare's closet. As alleged in the complaint, before emergency personnel arrived at the daycare, before they arrived, Mendez and a co-conspirator tried to cover up what happened. Seconds before Mendez called 911, she called a co-conspirator. Minutes later, a co-conspirator arrived at the daycare. Minutes later, he left the daycare and fled out the back alley, carrying two full shopping bags. And all of that happened while the children, the babies, were suffering from the effects of fentanyl poisoning and in desperate need of help. We immediately launched a federal investigation, and we've been working around the clock to uncover the truth. And we're now ready to bring these defendants to justice. Wild. So here's the father of um, of um, Nicholas here. And he's just like, I can't imagine like you're taking your kid to daycare. And these are, you know, like lower income neighborhoods. Daycares are expensive. And all along, it's a drug operation. And it takes such a small amount of fentanyl to kill you less than you know, like I, uh, Mayor Adams had showed a uh, basically image of a penny. Here, I'll show you. I'll pull that up. Or mistakenly leave cocaine around the house. This substance is so dangerous. Just a small amount. That little corner right there, the size of a penny, that little corner you see here is enough to kill an adult. Crazy. So imagine, um, <clears throat> just speculating here, this place, you know, daytime, uh, daycare, by night after all the kids go home, they're in there putting together kilos of cocaine. You know, that, I mean, and, and pressing it. You know, that stuff is flying all over the place. You know, they're not properly cleaning up. All it takes is a little bit, you know, a kid's lying on a mat somewhere little bit of residue there little child sniffs it up or takes a little bit put it in their mouth you're not know kids always on the floor horrible situation you want to know something else look at this right here this is a live stream from philadelphia in uh kensington where it's an open air drug market now this is nothing compared to how it looks at night this is a daytime one but they be out there, stuff be burning. Kids got to, you know, take this to get to school. And we got all this money to send all over the country to the Ukraine and everywhere. So as far as this uh, daycare owner wife is done, they're looking for that husband. And, you know, he's probably long gone. He came and got his drugs and whatever, and probably money, got out of there and probably told her, I'll take care of your legal fees. You know, and he's probably on his way to wherever he's from. That's who they're looking for. And the uh, husband's cousin, as I'm looking at my notes here, he was renting a room there. So he must have been, I'm guessing, I don't know. He, uh, clearly, he's a part of everything. They found a kilo plus. They said a kilo and a kilo uh, press. And like some more drug paraphernalia and, and I guess chemicals laying around. Uh, but just for her to call her husband twice before calling 911, she's screwed. She's going down. Uh, take your time out. 
like the video subscribe let me see if i missed anything she's being charged with murder manslaughter and drug charges and um from my understanding she's being held without bail let me be sure here to check here's the video stop pushing this poison it kills it ruins lives and it will ruin yours too when we catch you convict you and send you to federal prison. A dire warning about the drug behind the Bronx daycare tragedy as we learn more about what investigators say they uncovered inside. And tonight, the owner of that daycare breaks down in tears as she comes face to face with a federal judge. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Chris. Yeah, hey, you know, you can cry all you want, but a baby's lost their life. They ain't trying to hear none of that. You're going down. You're going down. Denied bail. It's over. She's cooked. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take your time out. Like the video. If you have any uh, video ideas or any topics you want me to cover, I have a lot of free time. So paste them down below or copy them down below or excuse me, comment down below in the uh, comments. Thanks for watching.